We are going to drill down on the future of central bank digital currency. This is a report on Whip Ripple's website that talks about CBDCs. There's a lot of fear about CBDCs, a lot of concern. We don't want it to end up like the CCP here, but I think it deserves looking at what did Ripple say about CBDCs and what do they believe is the future of central bank digital currencies. This was written by James Wallace and it was published on May 8th of 2023. Now the very first line grabbed my attention, or second line. As 2023 unfolds, the future of digital currencies backed by central banks is accelerating. According to a new report from Juniper Research, a global value, the global value of central bank digital currencies will grow dramatically from $100 million today to $213 billion by 2030. This is what blew my mind. I went over to the calculator and I said, what is it? the increase from 100 million to 213 billion. And I divided 213 billion by 100 million. It is 2,130 times, 2,130 times. A 2,130 time increase. That's not five times, 100 times, 1,000 times. It's 2,130 times. That is enormous increase between now and 2030. And I think people are not really focusing on the fact that there is going to be this tremendous growth between now and just eight years from now. I don't know of any other number that is growing as large as that for any other asset in any asset class. This is something that really needs to be talked about and focused on more by the XRP community. All right, let's go on. It says, why is this high growth in CBDC adoption and use expected? Quite simply because CBDCs offer reliable sources of digital currency backed by central banks for consumers, businesses, and governments. Although there are ongoing debates about digital currency privacy and fear of government overreach, the regulation and adoption of CBDCs and stablecoins continues to accelerate. Since the COVID-19 pandemic, the world is increasingly digital. The past 18 months have seen many citizens using mobile phones and digital wallets to carry out financial transactions. Blockchain-based CBDC solutions allow for integration with mobile apps, enabling greater financial inclusion for citizens while simultaneously eliminating third-party banking fees. Current developments demonstrate that many of the world's largest central banks are moving forward with plans to pilot and launch their own digital currencies to complement existing fiat currencies. So I want to pause there for a minute. Current developments demonstrate that many of the world's largest central banks are moving forward with plans to pilot and launch their own digital currencies to complement existing fiat currencies. That tells us that there may be something more in the works than what we have today. You would think that they're just going to copy their existing fiat currencies in a digital form but it sounds like it's almost something in addition to that. So that's a very interesting sentence there. Examples of key central banks planning CBDC initiatives. In Brazil, the central bank is readying plans to launch a CBDC in 2024. The central bank of Montenegro recently announced a pilot project for a CBDC with Ripple. The bank of England seems to be moving forward with work on a digital pound as evidenced by job postings with CBDC related titles posted on the bank's website. In a recent speech by Sir John Cunliffe, he noted that the Bank of England is well advanced in the build and implementation of a new central bank real time payment system, the central rail of the current UK payments infrastructure. The Digital Currency Monetary Authority has announced the Universal Monetary Unit, a digital coin designed to accelerate cross-border transactions. Now that's interesting because there they're saying they have their own coin that they're going to be using, the UMU, a digital coin. The EU Parliament recently endorsed the first EU rules to trace crypto asset transfers. 
prevent money laundering, as well as common rules on supervision and consumer protection. The new rules provide a uniform legal framework for crypto asset markets in the EU. Well, this is very interesting because we want protections for crypto use. We want the same freedoms that we have under the Constitution when we're using money. We don't want to be able to have a dictatorship or some sort of control mechanism put onto digital currencies. So this is very interesting that they have new rules in the EU that have a uniform legal framework for crypto assets. The future of money is digital. These facts demonstrate that the time is now for the advent of digital currencies backed by central banks. Because CBDCs can be managed, monitored, controlled, and redeemed as needed by central banks, the implementation of these digital assets merits pilots and testing to establish trust and reliability. Ripple CBDC solutions offer a comprehensive platform for minting, managing, transacting, and redeeming CBDCs that meet the high security standards of central banks. Ripple is currently engaged in CBDC and stablecoin pilots with the Republic of Palau, the Central Bank of Montenegro, and the Royal Monetary Authority of Bhutan. I just want to pause there and say this is one of the things that makes it so exciting as a shareholder of Ripple and as an investor in XRP, which I've done separately, of course, and for different reasons. But it's exciting because you see the potential of what Ripple is engaged in with CBDCs and also how XRP is going to be used. But XRP can be used as the native token or there can be other tokens that can be used on the XRP ledger. So there's a lot of flexibility that can occur here. This goes on to say, with strong technology in place for central banks to launch their own CBDC, it's expected that in 2023, there will be greater adoption of digital currencies. The transformation from fiat to digital currencies offers the promise of lower costs for basic financial services, increased security, accelerated payments, and reduced energy consumption. When you consider these facts, as well as the audit trail that blockchain provides for tracking and tracing transactions, it's easy to see why CBDCs are moving from vision to reality. So one of the beautiful things about the XRP ledger is that it does not have a lot of energy consumption, as opposed to some unnamed cryptocurrencies that we won't talk about that do have high energy consumption. But XRP is very, or the whole XRP ledger is very energy efficient. And so this is something that is very important going forward, as well as lower costs, as well as speed, as well as scalability, accelerated payments, etc. So there's a lot of exciting technology that we've known about with XRP and the XRP ledger, and there's some new things coming as well. And then they have a connection here. CBDCs are powering the next evolution of finance. So just briefly, it says CBDCs will disrupt the financial sector and grant millions inclusive access to basic financial services at lower costs, which is exactly what I talked about on yesterday's video, where I said that the success that Ripple and XRP are enjoying in Africa is without any need for infrastructure. They're able to go directly to being able to use your phone and being able to provide financial services with just a phone. No need to build a bank or a building or anything like that. I did download this report and look at uh, whether I wanted to share that with you. I didn't feel that there were um, exciting things on there that I really wanted to talk about, so I'm not gonna go into that here. But I do think that, um, for example, looking at the uh, Republic of Palau and what they've put here on the uh, Ripple website is very interesting. Just that um, the partnership was exciting. Of course, Palau's money is in US dollar denominations. So it's essentially testing the US dollar while using another name for it under the Republic of Palau. But um, it is a US backed digital currency for Palau. And it says this could see the implementation of the world's first government backed national stablecoin in the first half of 2022, for which Ripple would pull out, provide Palau with technical business design and policy support. 
Meanwhile, exploring a USD-backed stablecoin and associated use cases, such as the corporate registry on the XRP ledger, could provide a viable alternative to central bank digital currencies for countries like Palau. Now, very interestingly, this quote, as part of our commitment to lead in financial innovation and technologies, we are delighted to partner with Ripple. The first phase of the partnership will focus on a cross-border payment strategy and exploring options to create a national digital currency providing the citizens of Palau with greater financial access. So really, really interesting. Uh, And James Wallace down here replies from Ripple, we are excited to be working with Palau to achieve its financial and climate related goals. We have a wonderful opportunity to bring together our technology and experience with unique characteristics of Palau to make a real economic and social impact for the country. So again, um, this is very exciting. It says uh, the XRP ledger provides financial institutions and government bodies such as Palau the ability to fully settle transactions for fractions of a penny in just three to five seconds. To date, more than 5,400 currencies have been issued and traded on the XRP ledger via its integrated decentralized exchange and custom token functionality that makes it easy to create, issue, and manage any asset, including stable coins. So again, very exciting technology, but I think out of this whole thing, the thing that I think we haven't focused on and has been completely missed, I haven't heard this before, the global value of central bank digital currencies will grow from 100 million to 213 billion dollars a 2130 time increase that's an enormous number that's something i just cannot stress how big that is and we all know the potential for the assets on the xrp ledger but i've not seen it projected in quite this way this is astounding this is a huge number and something that i think i'll be tweeting out later today just to get this really out in the XRP community so that people understand the projections for growth are unbelievable for the entire industry. But for central bank digital currencies of which Ripple and XRP are are connected in a very um, in a very just dominant way, this is going to be very, very exciting. So Yes, we've talked about, you know, all the money. We've talked about this and that, but we haven't seen this specific adoption projection talked about in the future. So I think this is very significant, something that we need to basically, basically I think, grasp onto in the community and know that this is, you know, probably a number that they consider somewhat um you know, doable and somewhat maybe even conservative because usually you don't put numbers out there that are far reaching. You put numbers out there that are a little bit more on the conservative side. So when you see astounding increases like this, this is enormous. This is something really we need to grasp and have in each of our minds so that this is where they believe the future is going in just eight years. That's unbelievable for any asset class. This is astounding. So I just wanted to share that with you again. The purpose of my videos is to drill down and find little nuggets like this, drill down into reports, articles, things that we don't always get to talk about. It's very, there's so much information coming at us that typically we can only skim across the surface of what's happened in a particular day, week or month. But what I want to do is pick out certain things and really drill down and get some real good tidbits for the community that are showing you some specific information just like this that is very exciting, very important for us to know and to put into our consciousness that we are aware of. So I'm happy to share that with you today. Please like, share, and subscribe this video. There's going to be much more coming to you this way. My regular podcast that I do on Be Wealthy and Smart is a broad podcast of lots of different financial topics, including stocks, bonds, real estate, and crypto and private equity. 
but on the YouTube channel, I'm going to be focusing more on just crypto. So like, share, and subscribe, and I will talk with you later. Thank you. Bye-bye.